the minig is that uh, when someone says Havdalah, when a man makes Havdalah and uh, gives out a little bit of wine for everybody to drink, the minig is that women don't drink wine. We'll get back to that in a minute, but uh, it should be clear that if a woman says Havdalah to her for herself and uh, uh, there is no man around to say Havdalah. Certainly she has to say uh, Havdalah. Then she has to drink the wine. She has to drink the wine of the Havdalah. Uh, as far as this uh, Minhag is concerned, that women don't drink the wine of, uh, of the Havdalah, uh, the reference is in the Shulchan Aruch and the Mishnah Bur Reish Tzari Vav. It's Halacha Aleph. And there, uh, noagim lishpoch mikol shel yayin al haaretz kodem shesiyim borei priagav. And this is the Ramo, the Ramo, who says that there's a minute to spill out a little bit of the wine onto the ground before he says borei priagav in the brocha, kedei shelo iye hakos pagum, in order that the uh, the kos uh, should not be um, uh, wanting, lacking, so that that um, he can't really, he can't spill out the wine uh, um, after you make the bracha, then you have to drink it. But here, before you make the bracha, you can spill a little bit so that it it looks proper in the uh, in the cup. The amrinam kol bayit shelo nishpach bo yayin kemayim ein bo siman bracha. This is the ramah. Who says that uh, we always say that uh, that a household that does not spill a lot of wine, there is no siman bracha. That's not a household that has a blessing. And this is all in order to make sure that everybody knows that uh, this is it. we start off the week with a, a goodly sign. We make a, a good sign. <coughs> Gam shofchim min hakos achar havdala mechabim bo etaner. And then you also, after you finish the havdala and you drank the proper amount, then you spill a little bit of wine out, and you use that wine to uh, to uh, put out the candle. V'rochatzim bo einav mishum chibuv hamitzvah. And uh, the Shulchan Aruch the Ramos says, and you even wash out your eyes because of the fact that you like the mitzvah, I mean, the wine from the mitzvah of Havdalah, you want to use it for all kinds of things, and you want it to, uh, you want it to uh, be appropriate to all kinds, of, uh, all kinds of nice feelings that you might, uh, that you might have. The Be'er Hetev says, Nagu nashim shalolishtot mikos Havdalah, women customarily do not drink from the Havdalah, and then he says, it's the Shalom uh, who, who uh, brings a source. Uh, this source is not in the Be'er Hetev, but the, the Mishta Brewer relates to it. And he says, the Mishta Brewer adds the following. He says, when you drink from the coast, you should drink sitting down. Because Standing is less mechubad, uh, it's less honorary for drinking than sitting. And that women do not drink from the Kosa of Dalad, that's from the Be'er Hetev. Uh, it may be because uh, we, we would rather that the person who makes the bracha should re- to drink the whole cup and not give it out to B'nai Beito because he has to say a bracha chrona, and you ought to make sure that he drinks enough wine to drink the brach, to make a bracha chrona. When he brings only only his mouthful, then it's not clear. So that it may be, according to the Mishabur, that the reason that the women don't drink wine is because they wanted to encourage whoever made the bracha to drink enough wine to say a bracha achrona. It's not any kind of a mystical a mystical reason. So on the one hand, we try to use the wine for all kinds of positive things, even at the beginning of the week. On the other hand, 
women don't drink from the wine because the uh, person who said Havdalah should be obliged to say a bracha. He has to drink enough wine to have that obligation.